Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in to access Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. Confirm facial identification. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. 
Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's... What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. 
This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander.
We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. <laughs> I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them?
That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Hush. <laughs> Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Is it safe? Now. Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Tell me everything you remember. You don't know I have that. to go. 
Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys... Jeez, Blake, You have something come... to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Commander. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving! Over behind those crates! Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't Your really Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? But no! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the Commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's what...
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. 
Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. And Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a Spectre, one of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. 
A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't... We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422.
This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports of that ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? 
Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. 
Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Commander. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. I like that fountain. Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. Never met the Volus before. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Up, Lieutenant. 
Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the unit... I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find... You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are... My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Hello there! Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hello there, welcome to Moreland. showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. 
What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread Why should I believe it? Fine, right? ask Anderson. Uh, Just tell me what Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. I'm out of here. And I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. 
Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you I want couldn't to... find the proof I needed in my investigation, but Welcome I Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know we aren't the only ones. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come Last in Last I heard, he was at... What's he doing there? Fist accused him of Move making... Move out. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything... You're a doctor. I chose to keep the medical training. Let me take a look. Of course. recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for.
Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. You're not my concern. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. 
Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower.
Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams. But thank you. It's nice to hear it again.
Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander.
We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I expected your ambassador to be more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, good to see another human in here. Right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. 
<laughs> if you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell is all that about? I guess we'd better go find out. CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Hello, Commander. Detective Chellick. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll... Good luck, Commander. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, 
but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by, Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Hold it! That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm taking you in, Jax. To Sting! Bastard set us up! The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass army boy. Kill him. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban... I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. Hello, Commander. What the hell happened down there, Command? Jax needed killing. Here's your shipment. Damn it! I've got to get on this right away, before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready.
Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Ah, change your mind? I think I'll take my... Hmm. Suit your... Ah, change your mind? I just need a few more... Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. It's not what I heard. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. I was glad to yeah, help everyone out. seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Hey there, welcome to Flesh. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. I need to speak with... 
you've got the same def- Never mind. It doesn't matter how you got it. But I can't let you keep it. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't make a scene, Commander. Now... Doran caught but that was your this is absolutely the worst day of my life. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication... I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharos system shortly before... Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Novaria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before the he... The Reapers does. are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist... The conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. We have one. We don't know if she's involved, but it we have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted. Sounds like we should. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. 
But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own... I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old... I trust you, Commander. If you think... How did you end I up assigned... Of course, the only reason the colony... I got my... Op yes, sir. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you... Well... Hell, the license is a lot. Let's see what... You bet, Commander. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSA. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more... CSEC's handling of Saren was tip... I hope... And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people... I wasn't trying to... Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was... I heard about that. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected and infect, and I suppose it's destroying your entire... I suppose it isn't all. I don't expect you to understand, but don't... I was just making... Your... The genophage infected us. We're too spr... So we leave. All... Every... Cr it's just who we are. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue, I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Gath are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? 
I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing! I'm starting to end the norm. I have to thank you again. Some of the fleet's love, but some think.